What's up guys, Scott here with Wandering the Wilderness and I have recently got permission on a beautiful piece of property. Um, this property is roughly 78 acres, um, has two large fields, uh, an old foundation of a, of a homestead and uh, tons of woodland with some four-wheeler trails through it. Um, it is a friend of mine's hunting lease. So he's given me permission to use this uh, camping, camping, crafting, possibly classes, and uh, just practicing my own skills um, out in the wilderness. And when you're in this uh, large piece of land, uh, in my opinion, I got plenty of room to roam and be out in the middle of nowhere and uh, get to practice those skills. So what I'm doing today, is a couple things. One, um, this is probably going to be the coldest temperatures that I have ever um, camped in. Um, we're calling for roughly around 26 at night, not counting windshield. Um, so that's going to be fun. And uh, a part, the other part is establishing my base camp area. Now uh, I've decided on a spot and I'm here now, got my tent and stuff set up. Uh, but what I'm gonna be doing and showing you right now, so I'm gonna be setting up a keystone fire pit uh, for cooking, as well as just a nice fire to have not too far off from the tent. So I wanted to show you uh, how to do that. And I'm gonna take a couple steps. Uh, one, I'm gonna dig it all out and I'll show it to you and then we'll go from there. Uh, one of the, the key things for me is that where the key end part comes out, and it'll make more sense once I show it to you, um, I have a Camp Chef grill that is uh, made obviously for campfire and that's what I wanna be setting up out here. And so at the end of my keystone, I need it to be skinny enough to fit between the two legs. Okay, so that's what I'm using as my reference point. So when you are making your own keystone, where the end comes off, you want um, it to be wide enough that whatever you're laying on top, the grade or whatever, uh, that is perfect for what you are going to be using. Or if you're going to be crafting, just keep those things in mind when you're building your initial uh, keystone. So I'm going to get at it. And once I got the pit dug, then I'll give you an overhead boot, uh, overhead view. All right, guys, I got this uh, pit dug out. Hopefully you can see what we got going on. So from right here, up and around, that is the main fire pit. And that's just a large circle. Got it about eight inches deep. Everything I dug out, I put up on the, the edges. All right, gives you that little bit of the fire break from the grass or shrub or whatever. Then at the bottom of the circle, you cut out a square, adding to, that's the area that you're going to uh, cook, and it adds to the main fire pit. All right, and I dug that down just about two inches deeper than this. Again, put all of the dirt all the way around it. All right, now I'm going to go look around in the forest and try to find rocks to outline the edge, again, for another fire break to prevent any kind of forest fires or anything like that. So I'm gonna go look for quite a few rocks because this sucker's pretty big and uh, line this thing with rocks. I'll show you what it looks like when I got it done. It done. So as you can see, I stacked all the rocks around. And then on the back side of the fire pit, I stood them up. Now that's about two and a half foot up. Camera's not doing it justice, but from there to there is about two and a half feet. Then I have my grade. I don't want to camera right and focus on. All right, have my grade over the back end. Make sure to put a flat rock right here. Uh, has my fire tin, my char cloth tin, uh, my flint and steel kit, seasonings, tinder, gloves, all my food. Then I have a cast iron skillet, 
my coffee pot, and my Morse Kahansky bush pot. All right, so the idea is build your big old fire right here, scrape your coals under here, and you cook with the coals. It's a better way to manage and regulate temperature. So this is a quite a large fire pit. I think it might have taken me with collecting the rocks and digging uh, two hours. But one and done. Do one good one one time, we'll have to do it again. So anyway, we've got a nice large keystone fire pit. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe this will be something you can try out for yourself at your own base camp. Thanks for watching. God bless.